And I'm like, I thought about it. I'm like, what's the worst that could happen? This man could put me in a leash and walk me around. That's the worst that could happen. So... <laughs> Hi, Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome back to Like the Queens! Welcome back. I hope everybody had a wonderful Halloween. Um, hope you partied you and it was so much fun. I was um, going to ask you, you were out last night. What were you doing? I was out last night. I visited after my friend's show at the theater near me. They we just went out to a little like party that was right next door to the theater Aww. that was put together by the theater. And then we yeah. hit a couple of bars afterwards. That's fun. Very fun. It was it was a good time. I, I can't That's complain. Super fun. So super fun. And you can <laughs> get into all those bars? Before. I can get into all of them except for one. Like in, in that area specifically. Yeah. So That's why it's nice. Yeah. It should be normalized. That's something that... W- <laughs> that's a topic of discussion. So I am not 21. Um, I'm 20. And so bars, as we discovered in, like, Wisconsin and North Carolina, and as we were traveling this summer, won't let me in. <laughs> no. And I think that's absolutely crazy because, like, in Florida, I can go hang out at bars with my friends and stuff. If you're 18 and older, you know, I just... Obviously, I can't buy yeah. alcohol. They card you at the bar. So, it was crazy this summer having to experience that. Yeah. Also (laughs) because, like, the only bar I had been to underage was a gay bar that, with my friends, that allows 18 and up. (laughs) Yeah. And so, I hadn't been to any other bars besides that. And there you go. I know. (laughs) They're more inclusive. (laughs) They are more inclusive. Shout out to them. Shout Shout out out to to them. them. (laughs) (laughs) so yeah that's what i did last night you went out a couple nights ago just as beetlejuice i loved it (laughs) thank you i'm not doing that again tonight just because it took me hours okay for that look yeah i got home at like four something and i came upstairs and it, it took me like an hour to do my makeup and then i had to put my hair in a wig as well like it was insane yeah i mean it was a lot of effort I said, you looked great, but something I could never pull off. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) I think I'm going to do Sandy tonight because I have my old Sandy outfit from high school. Yeah. I did my makeup, so all I have to do is put my hair in a wig and throw on the clothes, and I'm good to go. There you go. That's all you can do. I have no idea what I'm doing tonight because I wasn't supposed to be here. So I have no no plans. I have nothing to do. No costume, so... (laughs) We'll see where. Well, I'll, I'm sure I'll end up somewhere. So. You'll, you'll figure something out. Yeah. <laughs> Willow and Rowan and Carson, they're all coming over tonight, and I'm taking them trick-or-treating. Oh, that'll be fun. They're my favorite. They are very favorite. cute. I got to meet all of them when I was um, at Liz's house, and I loved yeah. them. Me too. I love them. I think Willow and Rowan are Power Rangers, and Carson's deciding between Iron Man and Captain America, so we'll see. (laughs) Okay. Sweet. (laughs) Isn't that cute? That is cute. I literally love children. Me too. love little babies. They're my my favorite thing about Halloween. (laughs) It's true. To see all the... All the cute little costumes. Yeah. In the the village yesterday, I saw a little baby Hulk, and it was like the chunkiest (gasps) little baby. Oh. It was so cute. My whole night was made in that moment. That's adorable. (laughs) Adorable. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Oh, oh, so I don't think our listeners know, like, we're recording this on Halloween. Like, it's Sunday right now. (laughs) Yeah, it is Sunday the 31st. So that's why we're talking about it. We're not crazy. We're not spending Halloween the week after. No. But also... This episode will drop on Wednesday, and I'm sure we'll record another one by the time we leave next week, which we'll probably have to do that, like, Wednesday or Thursday. We have yeah. to record another one. Yeah. But we'll be in L.A. a week from today. You'll get us together, finally again, and... I'm so excited. It's just, it's going to be so good. You're going to get some good footage out of that. <laughs> oh, we're going to go crazy, go stupid. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I've messaged like 20 Hollywood stars. 
okay being like are you gonna hang out with me (laughs) and not a single response not a single response that's okay everybody listening don't be afraid to dm anybody you want they may be a celebrity but at least you put the effort out there exactly exactly and sometimes they will respond and it'll make your whole entire night. Liz can attest to that. <laughs> it does. I've had I've had two of my celebrity crushes respond to me and now we can like message each other on like our general stuff. Like it doesn't it's not like a request anymore because they've accepted my message request. And so tonight I'm sending like a video, like kind of like a Snapchat like Instagram yeah. thing to Aaron Clancy because he lives out in California. <laughs> And I'm asking him to hang out with me. We'll see if he responds. Like I know he gets these messages every day, and I, yeah. he's already he's already shared one of my posts. Like I shouldn't ask for too much, but <laughs> here we are. But always shoot your shot, ladies. <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh. So speaking of LA, um, okay. This guy popped up on my uh, TikTok for you page, and he was beautiful, like ripped, shredded beautiful yummy man and so I clicked on his Instagram to see like where he lives and whatnot and guess where he lives perhaps LA LA. guess where he works out at Venice Beach the outside workout area at Venice Beach okay so I I slid into his DMs of course we'll see if he responds but we are definitely going to Venice Beach we're hitting up Venice Beach workout we are hitting up Venice Beach. You got it. <laughs> I am so excited to see these beautiful men working out outside by the beach. Me shirtless. too. Like, Do a little people a, watching. <laughs> yes. We just need to grab a bottle of wine, sit there, and enjoy the view. And that's how you do California, everybody. <laughs> Find the hot spots and enjoy. Enjoy what nature has brought to you. <laughs> Oh, and one of the men I've been messaging from Hinge, he works for a talent agency out there. Like, not just any talent agency, like a big talent agency. Okay. Does he want to get us an audition? Or I'm like, so, you like me? You want to cast me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yep. I'm and so I've excited. Tell- <laughs> I've been telling all these guys, I'm like... Yeah, I'm coming out there because I'm thinking about moving out there. <laughs> Liz. I don't well, I mean, it's... it's not a complete lie. It's not. You have like considered I... it. I have. Are the odds as great as moving to New York? No. But I am still considering it. Exactly. So it's not a complete lie. <laughs> I'm messaging a guy from L.A. right now that I met off of Hinge and... Or he's not LA. He's in Santa. Santa Monica. Santa Monica. No. Yeah, Santa Monica. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, what are you doing? Like, why did you move your vacation to California? I was like, oh, I'm coming up there for you know a few days. And he was like, oh, are you moving? And I'm like, no. He's like, so what do you want on here? I was like, sweetie, <laughs> sweetie, not a relationship, not a relationship. And he was like, okay, like, I guess I'm down to have fun. I was like, okay. Okay. Send me a picture. I want to see. Okay. I'll send you the video of him, like, singing on his profile. This this man's a singer. He sounded really good. He's, I he's like, that. 5'10", I think, but I swiped right on him because he was a good singer. I followed Miss Claire's advice. Thank you, Claire, if you're listening to this. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I did it. I was about to say, there's this guy that liked me on there, and he's 5'8". Mm. But he's so cute, so I think I'm gonna match with him. Yeah. He's so cute. I'm Why gonna not? be taller than him, but he's so cute. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. That's something yeah. that we sh- that's something that we should talk about is <laughs> how do you guys feel about dating a guy who's shorter than you? I don't know I don't know how tall our listeners are. I've talked about this before. I'm a very tall woman. I'm five eleven. That is one yeah. inch under six foot. So I, my one thing that I require in a man is to be at least six feet tall. And a lot of people are like, why? That's so like, why do you have that standard? Like you can't get past your pride. And I'm like, no, actually I can't. (laughs) I will not date a man shorter than me. (laughs) 
I think but it's completely tell us. Val- I think it's completely <laughs> valid because people have their things where it's like, oh, I won't date someone of a different religion. I won't date someone who doesn't want kids or who does want kids and I don't. Like, everyone has their things and I don't think it's a shallow idea to, like, want someone yeah. to be taller than you. I agree. I agree. I prefer someone taller than me, but I'm not going to completely rule someone out who's shorter than me. Yeah. I like I like to think that I'm that way, but I definitely, especially on dating apps, because all the information's there. Yeah. I think on dating I'm apps, like, it's a lot, yeah. On dating apps, it's a lot easier to be like, no, because you have so many options that are taller than you. Like, no offense to those guys. Like, short kings, they're kings for a reason. Um, exactly exactly (laughs) but like when you see the other options you're like oh I can date someone taller than me then you're like oh I guess I won't swipe right on a guy shorter than me but if I I am more likely to go out with someone in person who's shorter than me than I am over a dating app you know what like you know what I mean like meeting them in person compared to that yeah I feel that yeah (laughs) but what what about other things that you wouldn't go out with someone because of Either in their profile, something they did. Hmm. Things that make me go automatically, automatically no. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. That's something that's actually very intriguing to think oh my, about. I just thought, I just thought of one. I saw what? this guy put in his profile one time that he was a meninist. A what? A meninist, not a feminist. A meninist. Yeah. That that's something. That's something right there. And I said, mm, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh my gosh. Or if they're closed minded, like if it's on either side of the political spectrum, if they're like, I will only go out with people who are liberal, I only go out with people who are conservative. I'm like I do so- agree with stuff like that. Especially especially like in when we were in Wisconsin, I saw so many profiles that were like if you if you lean this way, swipe left. Yeah. I'm not interested in you. And I'm like, okay. Like I, <laughs> yeah. I don't need to be with someone who won't even open their mind to yeah. anything to other else. People to other ideas. Yeah. And also they're like, if you're vaxxed, I don't want to hang out with you. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. People like, like that. No problem. That's something. Um, and it's men not who even don't. That, sorry, I was just gonna say it's not even that I care that you have different opinions than I do. It's just yeah. the fact that you're closed off from meeting other people with different ones. Not even you. willing to like get to know them. I get yeah. that. Yeah. Stuff like that. Oh, people in their in their bios on dating apps when it's like the about me part and they they don't put anything. It's like blank oh or they're like gosh. they're like ask or they're like. I'm bad at these. I'm like, can you at least like say hi? Yeah. I'm new. Like I'm new here. Never done dating apps before. Like you don't have to create like a whole like quirky thing, but stuff like that just really annoys me. And I'm like, mm. like you could at They're- least put your favorite color or something. <laughs> yeah. Literally anything. <laughs> literally anything. Guys Give who don't something. put like photos in their dating app or their photos are just like, they need help. They're like wearing a mask, or so it's like half their face. Yeah. Like, I feel like men need a a dating apps one hundred and one class. Or they're all to group improve pictures. It. Yeah, they're all group pictures, and I never know who it is. Same. I'm like, that doesn't make me want to swipe right right now. And like, you look cute with your mask on, but like, I can only see half your face. What if you're not cute? Exactly. Exactly. And I don't know if they're trying to show that they're careful and, like, considerate, but, like, you're on a dating app. Like, take a selfie. Take the mask off. Like, let us see That's what face, I'm saying. Please. And you have you have so many pictures. Like, on my – I'm pretty sure on my Bumble right now I have – one of my photos is me with the mask on, but that's one of my photos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there's, there's, like, seven photos on there. So there's so many other photos to see. Yeah. Like, I – I don't understand. I think I have like one or two, maybe like with my friends, and you. But you can clearly tell which one I am because none of my friends have like red hair or anything like that. Yeah, 
and like we all look like completely different and I, I'll be like with one or two other people and it's not like I'm with 20 or like a group of like five or more people like yeah I can't tell which one I am yeah I agree and that's just the profile and there's sometimes the profile. when when you match with the person and then they say some like really weird opening lines oh or the or just like you say something like you you give the opening line for example on Bumble because the girls have to do that and then they respond with something like so out of left field and you're like nope oh <laughs> I match oh. I match immediately let me let me tell our listeners about the guy this past week who I matched with and I started Snapchatting. Okay. He was so cute. We were actually planning a date, and I was so excited to go out with him. Like, first guy I was excited about going out with. Mm-hmm. And I have not been – I've had really bad, unlucky dating experiences for the past two weeks. And yeah. you know what this guy said to me? He told me he uh, was part of a kink community online. I don't know what – I forgot the name of it, but it was some kind of fetish community. And I'm like, mm-hmm. have you met people from, like, this community? He's like, yeah, but they're all weird. And I'm like, I wonder why. I wonder why, because it's a fetish community of people, and I'm sure there's some very weird fetishes out there. Yeah. And he, this man proceeds to tell me he wants me to put him on a leash and walk him around. Okay. Okay. That is not... My my personal thing. <laughs> me either. And I'm like, we haven't even met yet. And you're already telling me this. And so I texted Victoria and I was like, do I stay open-minded with this man? Or should I just go ahead and block him? Because this is where he's going straight to. Straight to. Yeah. And you were like, just go out with him. I was what's like, the worst out. that could happen? And I'm like, I thought about it. I'm like, what's the worst that could happen? This man could put me in a leash and walk me around. That's the worst that could happen. So <laughs> I said, I am blocking It's him. true. It's true. That's just like, that's just something that you don't, you don't start off with that. Like you don't start off with that. And I'm no. all like, good for him. If that's what he's into. I love that for him. But like, that's not how, that's not how you're going to find a girl. And that kind of really terrified me that he started it off like that. Like, are you trying to murder me? Are yeah. Are you trying to? Because you're, or you're, you want me to be a part of what this community that you're doing. And I feel very unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, so there, there's another thing. That's an automatic That's unmatch. <laughs> um. Let me tell you about the biggest red flag I had. And it just so happened to happen a week ago. Um, that guy who I told Victoria about who I was going to go out with and I wasn't going to go out with. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll go out with him. I'll give him a chance. Yeah, yeah, He yeah. FaceTimed me. Um, this was on a Thursday night right before I left to go to Virginia. And the FaceTime was going great. He was very easy to talk to. He's very cute. But he kept on, I kept thinking that he was, I just want to say trigger warning for anyone listening who's been sexually harassed, sexually assaulted. If any of this bothers you or like triggers you, like stop listening right now. Otherwise, keep going. (laughs) I was talking to this guy and I kept thinking maybe he was touching himself while talking to me. But yeah. I was like, you know, and I'm like, no, he's probably not doing that. Like, he, he's probably, like, scratching his leg or something or whatever or just being restless because I do the same thing sometimes. I'm a very restless person. Yeah. But then things started getting, like, more severe and, like, the phone was shaking and I could hear, like, that kind of sound. Uh-huh. And he was, like, it was going, like, really hardcore and I was getting so uncomfortable like this man was just dehumanizing me and making me a sexual object when I was just having a conversation with him and I told him I said I'm going to bed good night and then I called him out on it the next day I texted him and I'm like we need to talk about last night and he would not own up to it he would not admit that he did that and I really wanted an apology from him and also if he did admit to doing that like maybe I would have sued him I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> just for funsies, you know? <laughs> but mostly just to teach this man a lesson. I I would sue someone for a dollar just to teach them a lesson about yeah. how, you cannot, how you do not do that to women. You can't do um, that 
to anybody. No, no not to anyone. To anybody. It's not and okay. And no. And I tried getting him to own up to it, tried getting him to apologize, and he just wouldn't do it. And he's like, so what do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't know, which I did know what I want to do. I didn't want to talk to him anymore because I knew he was lying to me. And so I slowly just, like, stopped responding to him. And yeah. And he kept trying to talk to me. And then, like, the day before our date, he didn't message me at all. Like, he knew he was busted. He knew that I knew Good. what he was doing and I wasn't dumb. And we still haven't spoken to each other. I mean, it's a good thing. I, like, hope – I um, part of me is, like, oh, I hope he learned, like, he knew. But – no, he unmatched some reason. Me. Like, no, I would have reported him to Tinder because, like, as soon as we started texting, he unmatched with me on there. Yeah, and like that was smart on his part. So like, I could never report him. But also, I wish I could report him and and like keep him from being a sexual predator to other women. Okay, well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not a fan of that. Yeah, it was the worst experience ever. Yeah. I was so uncomfortable. I was so uncomfortable. Yeah. I bet. Like, I was just chilling like how I am right now. And I hear... And I'm seeing his thing. As you're trying to have a conversation. This is what he was Um, looking like. Gross. Like, I'm not dumb. I'm not crazy. Yeah. It's the fact that he did that while you're trying to have a conversation about, like, going out on a date. Like, yeah. planning a date. And just having a normal conversation. Yeah. Ugh. And he was 35. Like, you are... There is no excuse. That's the biggest no red flag of, flag of them all. Is the fact mm-hmm. that he's that age and he's acting like that. Yeah. I expect... If I'm going to go out with you and you're in your 30s, I expect you to be a heck of a lot more mature than that. Yeah. I expect, I think that's our problem, is we expect so much from men, and it's like to act no, their age. No, no, it's they, not a problem. And they can't, they can't do it. They can't act their age. I'm like, what, what are you doing? What's going on? Or they just can't act. Like, they have no idea how to be a human being. <laughs> they don't. They don't. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Another red flag. I brought up the guy last time, the lip smacker, who called me the next week he reached out to me again and invited me out on the lake with him and his friends and like i told this guy weeks ago i didn't want to go out with him again so i had to block him i had to block him yeah i mean that's crazy that's crazy Mm -hmm. you don't call a woman after she's literally said verbatim i do not want to see you again point blank period end of conversation is that statement and the fact that he's calling you and still inviting you out to places block him you don't have time to deal with that no i I blocked him i'm like this is weird this is so weird yeah understandable and it's the fact like you're not even ghosting them and they just refuse like you're being kind and letting them know like you don't want to go out again yeah they continue they continue yeah so like that's what you get no i don't think that there's I think that was the right thing to do. <laughs> None are Thank so you. crazy and creepy. <laughs> yeah. What about that guy you went out on a date with who was all like, I love you on the first date? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about that. That was um, a couple episodes ago. That was He was part of my week-long dating yeah. series. And yeah, he, that night... Before I went to bed, he said, I love you. And I pled the fifth. I chose not to <laughs> respond. Um, it was 2 a.m. I was like, I hit, well, I'm sleeping here. So <laughs> I stayed the night at this guy's house. And then I was like, I probably won't see him again. Um, it was definitely like very shocking. I like, I called Liz the next morning and I yeah. like told her about everything. Cause I was so shocked because that's never happened to me before. A guy saying, I love you after what five hours of us being together yeah mm, that's never happened before so I was very shocked and I said Liz I don't know I don't know what to do I, this guy's a little this guy's a little weird um it, that is weird yeah that's definitely a red flag definitely shouldn't have seen him again 
I have seen him again uh, uh, to update our plans. <laughs> <laughs> I have, uh, I have seen him again, and I have you seen him a lot or just like one other time? I've seen him quite a few times actually. I've, <laughs> um, I've seen really? him three more times after that. Yeah. Oh, so he's like definitely in love with you now. He thinks you guys are in a relationship. He already said the L word and you continue to see him. Guys, I promise I'm not a bad person, but I made it very clear to him. I made it very clear because the first, our first phone call ever, like when I was like FaceTiming him to like know that he was a real person before I went over to his house, yeah. he was like, he said verbatim to me, he was like, I am looking for a relationship. And I said, I am not looking for a relationship. So I was like, if that is make or break for you like I get it we don't have to see each other we don't have to go out I was like I'm just looking to like meet a person and have and have a good time you know I'm just not ready for that part in life and he was like he was like okay like that's cool that should have been red flag number one of the whole situation he's looking for a relationship I should have said end of story there but I still went out with him because he said it was cool he was like no no it's fine and now I've seen him more than once. I've seen him. I've seen him four times since I'm back in Florida. Um, Does he text you all the time? Yeah. Victoria. Victoria. He totally thinks you're in a relationship. But I make it like, guys. I want you to know that I make it very clear to him every time I go over. Like this is nothing serious. I show up looking. Like in my pajamas, like, you know, we, we do our thing and I hit the road, you know, like it's not, I promise we're not like, I'm not taking, making him take me out on these like extravagant dates every time we see him, every time I see him. I just want everybody to know that. <laughs> and he, he does he know. Has you again? Has he said the L word again? He hasn't. Okay. He hasn't. He says a lot of things. This is what this man does is like every time, like. If I were to, like, scratch his back or something, he'd be like, uh, like, back scratches equal love. And he does stuff (laughs) like that. And I'm, and and then I go, no. (laughs) How are you supposed to respond in that situation? You are playing with fire. You are playing with a crazy man. (laughs) Yeah. But, like, he's very aware of everything that I'm doing in my life. He's aware of all my traveling stuff. He's aware that I'm leaving the day after Christmas and probably won't be back. Yeah. Because I plan on moving, so... Oh, speaking of Christmas, I am so confused about your job that you just got. I tried looking it up. For November what do you mean? And Dece- For November and December? Yeah, the Legends Country thing. What is that? It's, um, it's, it's a gig that one of my friends got me. She's, she saw me at a wedding I was just at, and she was like we need another singer for the band on weeks that I can't be there. Can you do it? And I was like, yeah. And they're first. Yeah. It's like a, it's kind of, it reminds me of what we did this summer. um, Yeah. Because it's, it's like a legends of country. And then, so like there's a Patsy Cline medley. There's a um, Dolly medley. Is that what you posted on your Snapchat? Yeah. Oh, she sounded good. She does sound good. She's, she's the friend who invited me. So I I was like at the rehearsal, just like listening and, I tuned in when I can, when I could at that time. But that, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm coming back so early. Okay. I had to, We had to change our flights from California yep. because I had to come <laughs> back to sing some country music. But we got it worked out. We- anyway, so we just got very off topic, but yes. We did. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, this guy who I've seen multiple times, will he be absolutely heartbroken when I do leave? Yes. Yeah. The answer is yes. Yeah. Um, do I think that that's my fault? No. <laughs> Do I, I think that that's my problem? No. Because I did make it very clear. You made it clear. We have, we have like, messages to prove it, you know? Like, that's not on me. So. Um, but, that's yeah. so funny. I should have I should have taken the red flag, sign one, when he's like, I'm looking for a relationship. Sign two, when he said, I love you. Probably should have just, should have driven home at 2 a.m. Should have just done it. Yeah. <laughs> should have just not seen him again. Um. But yeah, that's the only situation that that's ever happened to me, though. I've never yeah. had like a guy, any other guy be like, I love you like too soon or like 
in a weird like hookup situation like that's never happened to me um so I mean it worked out for me though because I was with my ex for three years but like we went on one we went on one date one date and he told me he wanted to be in a, a relationship with me that night and we started dating after one date yeah but like he was also one of my closest friends beforehand like we had built that friendship he wasn't a complete stranger um and he was someone I did really care about and I I thought it was too soon like I wasn't ready to be in a relationship with him after one date but I didn't want to ruin what we had going and I was I was, I just went along with it and mm-hmm. I'm glad I'm glad I did it, yeah it, it turned it turned it into it turned into three great years of a great relationship um but he did almost say I love you like two weeks into dating he like stopped Mm. himself he's like I freaking like you so much (laughs) that's what he did and he was like I am feeling it I am feeling like I'm ready to tell you that and he goes but I know it's just too soon (laughs) yeah understandable I mean again I think it's different for like every relationship but I mean, you just know. You know in the moment. Yeah, you know. When you know when it's right. It's that time. But after um, you hook up with somebody, it's not, it's not the time. That is not the time. It's not the time. That is not the time. <laughs> They're not going to say that. But then also, like, maybe it is. <laughs> 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 if you both are just madly in love after the right. first date, then go for it. <laughs> It's true. Again, very, very circumstantial. So. <laughs> be, be spontaneous. Be wild. Say I love you when you want to. But also, like, be aware also don't be of the creepy red about flags. it. Don't be creepy about it. Read the don't room. Be creepy. Yeah, re- read the room. That is the best advice. That is the best advice. Read the room. Red Body flags. language is huge. Um, yes. And I think that'll help. That'll help a lot of people. (laughs) Wow. We just covered red flags and reading the room. (laughs) (laughs) That's like, while we're talking about reading the room and body language, moving away from like things that you say, body language is a huge thing in things that you do. And like when you're out on a date, you can probably tell by a woman's body language if she's feeling it or not, if she's not feeling it, like signs. Yeah. Signs that women are into what you're talking about. If they're yeah. not into your, what you're talking about, one, they'll probably like be on their phone, or two, you know, very closed off things. That's probably like <laughs> another episode we should talk about is the art Absolutely. of body language. <laughs> yeah, because women have it down. Oh yeah. Sorry. I mean, you've 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 helped me with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been so bad with flirting, and like this summer, you helped me. You helped me get those free drinks. You helped me. <laughs> Absolutely, never pay for your own drink at the bar, ladies. <laughs> Don't do it. So Victoria will give us a class on body language <laughs> next week. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> All right, I think that like wraps us up for today. I think that is. So, thanks for tuning in for another week's episode. Yeah. Um, we were kind of all over the place, but I hope that all of the topics were so understood. <laughs> I think they kind of all fall under the same umbrella with uh, red flags and like what we've experienced with red flags and dating. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, you know when know. to put an end to things, I guess. We're, we're smart. Everyone's smart. <laughs> everyone's smart um except yeah. for me sometimes because i'm in a situation now but that's okay don't take my advice <laughs> just kidding <laughs> you'll let us know how it ends like once you get through this <laughs> it's true you guys will know the ending soon but yeah that's so funny that's this week's episode i hope everyone had a happy halloween and i hope you guys have a wonderful week this week as we head into thanksgiving month oh my November. gosh <laughs> yeah. And tomorrow is Dia de los Muertos. So Feliz Dia de los Muertos. There you go. What she said. What she said. <laughs> <laughs>
you're you're this is your Hispanic heritage. I I'm saying here. I Why know. don't you educate our Puerto Rican in me is is not. <laughs> I'm so sorry to all to all my Puerto Ricans out there. I'm letting you know. So. Um. <laughs> but is that's it, okay. Is it a whole like Latin American thing? I wish is I could it, tell you. I don't I know. have something to do with like the saints and all that. Because at church this morning, they played, oh, when the saints, yeah, I was shocked. Come marching I was like, in. Why are we playing when the saints go marching in at church service this morning? That's really but. funny. <laughs> <laughs> they played it right after like the final, the final song. And I was like, oh, it's like done. And then it wasn't. Service was not done because we had to listen to when the saints go marching in. <laughs> That's such a bizarre choice. I need to go back and like look through my uh, Spanish class notes. And, like, re-educate myself on Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> yeah. We used to celebrate the <laughs> holiday every year in school. And now I don't even remember. <laughs> now I don't even know what it's all about. <laughs> no. Just it's the Day of the Dead. And it's my papa's birthday tomorrow. Oh, we're celebrating. We're celebrating that tonight. <laughs> and I'm eating ice cream cake for my birthday as well. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I went. Okay. I was craving. This, this is off topic. We need to end oh, no, this we just keep ranting. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, thank you for tuning in. Please <laughs> like this podcast, subscribe, rate, um, review. Yeah, rate everywhere, please, on Spotify, especially, and Apple, Apple yep. Podcasts. And we reached 30 followers on Instagram. You guys. We're so close to making Liz's birthday wish come true. So Just let's 70 keep off. Let's, let's keep pushing. Her birthday may be over, but that doesn't mean that we can't oh. stop giving. No, 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 no. I had the worst birthday in the entire world. And so uh, we can celebrate yeah. We can celebrate it now. <laughs> yeah, let's make up for Liz's unfortunate birthday with we thought my, my followers on Instagram. We almost lost my dog. My dog almost died. And then we thought he was dying again last night. And so we were saying our, bi- our goodbyes again last night. <laughs> it's been a time. It's been a time. But he's living right now. He's breathing and walking around. So that's good. And we're living for that news. Yeah. So... Yep, he's surviving. He's surviving. All we ask. He'll be, he'll be there for another week. <laughs> exactly. So please yeah. go follow our Instagram. Please. Yep. That's all we ask. Please and thank you. Okay, sorry <laughs> for our rants, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> please tune in next week for um our next episode. But other yeah. than that, I'm Victoria. I'm Elizabeth. Like the like queens. The queens. <laughs>